Welcome to the CoinGecko podcast. For today's episode, we would love to welcome Chandler Song, co-founder and CEO at Anchor. Anchor is a Web3 infrastructure company based in San Francisco. He was named Forbes 30 under 30 and Data Economy 30 under 30. Welcome to the show. Hey, Bobby. Thanks so much for the introduction. We actually um, met in Hong Kong uh, last year, I believe, mm -hmm. you know, for the Forbes 30 under 30 uh, event. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you and then over Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very happy that you have the time to come and explain to us what Anchor. I mean, I'm sure the audience at CoinGecko would love to hear more about what you guys do. Very exciting times. Yeah, again. definitely. Definitely. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I guess for the first question, right? Maybe can you explain Anchor in a simple, non-technical manner to our audience here at CoinGecko? Yeah, I think, you know, for Anchor, you know, we're really, you know, we're really trying to explain Anchor as a verb, right? So we're trying to anchor the Web3 infrastructure uh, for any use cases, including for developers, for stakers and for enterprises that trying to use uh, Web3 as a tech stack for their development and use cases. And, uh, you know, I think uh, so far we've been providing not only uh, node infrastructure for stakers and developers, but also at the same time, we provide uh, Web3 APIs uh, endpoints to a few uh, very famous blockchains, including Ethereum, Polkadot, and uh, Binance Smart Chains. Uh, and, you know, I think, you know, we just, uh, when talking about Anchor, we, wanna, we want people to feel like this is a default Web3 infrastructure for any use case. I, mean, I was looking at Anchor's website yesterday. It seems to me like with one click, I can sort of deploy an uh, Ethereum node or a Tomo Chain node and, and sort of run things with, with the node, right? Kind of decentralized things. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, this year has been uh, very busy for us. Uh, I think starting uh, January, like, you know, because of a lot of uh, the proof of stake based blockchain, we're coming alive, uh, you know, whether they were experienced at the, the testnet phase or mainnet phase, you know, we were, you know, trying to support them all. Uh, it was definitely not the easiest job in the world to do. But, uh, you know, so far we are actually providing 48 protocols, uh, you know, whether they're proof of stake based or they are based on Ethereum nodes uh, or they are proof of, uh, proof of capacity base, such as, uh, you know, we're supporting our weave uh, and, you know, we're also potentially supporting the upcoming Filecoin uh, cloud mine. All right. Um, so, so Chandler, like how, how is Anchor doing? Like how many customers do you have? Like who are the type of customers that's using Anchor at this point in time? Yeah. So very good question. So on the, uh, we actually divided our product uh, into, you know, uh, into, you know, categorize our, uh, our customer portfolios. Uh, we have uh, the consumers, uh, we have the developers, we have uh, the enterprises and the, uh, you know, uh, VCs and funds, right? So, uh, so far on the consumer side of the product, we actually help, uh, you know, over 8,000 8, nodes deployed on our platform. We're serving close to, uh, you know, 5,000 uh, in individuals on the Anchor platform. Uh, in terms of uh, enterprises, uh, we're serving, you know, node infrastructure uh, APIs uh, for, you know, um, staking companies, as, as staking as a service companies, uh, for exchanges, for wallet providers, for uh, data analytics companies who are uh, um, trying to, qu uh, to query the, the blockchain data. Right? And, uh, you know, I think one thing I'm very proud of is that, you know, Anchor is, uh, is already um, cash flow po uh, positive and, uh, um, this is uh, something we've been working on very hard. Uh, I think uh, one of the unique uh, traits, I would say, in the crypto space is like uh, we're not at all, you know, relying on just like selling like tokens uh, and then trying to compensate the team. Uh, we're actually, you know, uh, having a, a good product market fit. Yeah, that's amazing to hear. Like, I mean, it's rare to hear uh, crypto token projects being cash flow positive. Most of them yeah. are and, winning cash. And, and I think, you know, one thing that I want to add is like with the, the DeFi craze, uh, you know, there are, you know, close to 10 to 20 smaller uh, um, DeFi products, uh, you know, getting Ethereum RPC APIs from us, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah. A lot of uh, potential growth and uh, wait, um, yeah, a lot of potential growth for for Anchor. Very, very, very excited to hear about the the customers and growth that you guys have. Thanks, thanks. I mean, you know, I think uh, overall, you know, we welcome uh, competitions. I think you know, uh, competition makes us better. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, we are we're we're constantly trying. You know, I think you know. 
the overall company culture is that you know we're humble, right? We are we're always trying to learn from from other people, mm-hmm. and uh, we're trying to uh, take out the bad and uh, uh, learn from the best. Yeah, that's the that's the right attitude to have, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So you so one of my questions later on is like on how many coins you support. So you support forty eight blockchains. That that's a lot of work involved to like understand. I mean, and each blockchain is sort of uh, different. To a slight to to a certain extent, right? So you have to configure yeah. them all. But, like, do you? Yeah, I think you know. Yeah, I think you know. Um, so I think you know. I mainly want to categorize uh, blockchain nodes into a two categories, which mm-hmm. is uh, staking nodes and developer nodes, right? So when you're talking about like a staking nodes, you know, you put your you put a certain amount of uh, tokens into the address, whether through a validation process or through a delegation process. Uh, you you earn um, tokens by staking, right? By uh, developer nodes, you know we we mean you know a a, a endpoint to a full node through uh, API endpoints, whether it's uh, RPC endpoints or using um, GraphQL. Uh, we are supporting those uh, to uh, chains that we feel like there are a lot of uh, development opportunities. So uh, so far, by forty eight blockchains, you know we're really talking about like you know forty eight uh, blockchain types. Right, but for each blockchain, you know, there might be uh, a staking nodes or like two staking uh, node types, or you know, there can be different uh, endpoints uh, to the blockchain. So in total, like you know, I would say we're we're actually supporting close to hundred nodes. Wow, so far. And and all this was added this year, or or sort of like was yeah, added I think you know, over the years? Um, yeah. So I think. Um, you know, we really started uh, the you know the the Web three infrastructure product back in you know last summer, which is like last June July, uh, and you know I think you know I believe our first supported blockchain uh, were were um, were Zilliqa and Algorand. Uh, back then, you know, when Algorand was just launching on the exchanges, there were uh, you know a lot of uh, investors looking for. You know the, the ability to deploy an algorithm relay node. You know, so that uh, you know that was uh, you know one of the very sustainable business of, uh, for us in the early days. And what's the plan? Like, do you guys plan to add more like towards the end of twenty twenty and next year? Like, I- yeah, I mean, I mean, see, the thing is, uh, we just we don't just want to support a node. Like, you know, when we you know we do have our internal criteria uh, when selecting a specific blockchain node that we want to support on our on our anchor platform. Um, one thing that we look at is like the community, right? Uh, for, you know, for, for staking nodes, we're, we're especially looking at the community, whether, you know, there are enough, uh, you know, validators, uh, to help, you know, support the blockchain ecosystem. We, uh, when talking about, you know, a full node support, you know, we're mainly w- w- working with, you know, a, a blockchain that has a massive developer community and also tons of, uh, applications, wallets, uh, you know, building on top of those. Yeah, I think I think those are important points, like because supporting a node is no easy task, like, and if there's no developer community or there's no one interested in the blockchain, then it's just sort of a waste of effort that could be used to focus on some of the blockchain, I suppose. Yeah, exactly, right. So I, I think you know um, there there you know there were some companies you know uh, approaching us you know for the past I guess uh, eight months or so, right? Um, you know, say hey guys, can you support us? You know, we're willing to to pay you guys even uh, to support our blockchain. We said, hey, but uh, what's the point, right? Like, you know, there's no developer community, there's no uh, validator community. Like, we want to support, uh, you know, the you know, I would say, you know, quote unquote, meaningful blockchains out there, right? So I think you know that's definitely you know one of the highest priority for us. Mm-hmm. But as 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 far as I remember, like when when Anchor first came out, uh, I think in 2019, I believe also, mm-hmm. um, this. The idea that you have currently is not exactly the same as was as what it yep. was before this, right? So yeah. I can believe you guys did some sort of pivot. Uh, what was the original idea, and and how do you yeah, end up I mean, the current iteration? Yes, yes. So uh, I think you know, I think uh, our technology stack changed for sure. We did have a pivot, uh, but you know, our vision stayed the same. Like you know, from the very start, you know, we we want to be the infrastructure provider for blockchain, right? Um, but before we went to, you know, a different route and uh, we admit that was uh, probably not the most ideal route we should have uh, gone. Uh, you know, we were um, promoting our consensus protocol, which is proof of useful work. 
uh, it was uh, it was uh, highly relying on the use of Intel HGX and trusted hardware, which you know uh, till today we I, I still haven't seen a lot of uh, adoption you know on these type of uh, you know enclaves type of technologies. Um, you know I you know we we actually work with a lot of data center providers in the space you know in the cloud space. And uh, even, you know, some of the largest providers don't have those type of capacities. Yeah. So, yeah, so the pivot uh, was actually, you know, some, somewhere around, you know, uh, last um, like spring, summer-ish, right? where we really tried to uh, push out the, the new product. Because, you know, yeah, I think, you know, uh, business always uh, evolve, right? Yep. So uh, I believe, you know, we did the right uh, pivot. And, uh, you know, because, you know, we're seeing a product market fit right now. Uh, with you know the current trend of proof of stake based blockchains, with uh, DeFi products, with you know tons of tons of uh, you know exciting opportunities happening on you know in the crypto space. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like the current product that you have on Anchor, like, I feel there's a lot more product market fit. That is probably something that like if you if I want to spin up a node, like is I will go Anchor and just uh, with a few clicks I can spin up my node for whatever blockchain I have. And, and and my next question, I guess, I'm curious is right. So I mean, node infrastructure providers, um, mm -hmm. especially for Ethereum spaces, I would say the default for most developers is to plug into for uh, plug into Infura. And lately, yeah. I've been seeing a lot more uh, providers out there. Like Alchemy has been gaining market share, and I recently I heard about Pocket Network. So I guess my question is, uh, is 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 Anchor? How is Anchor different from these players? Are they in the same space, or are they? completely different things? Yeah, great question, great question. So, you know, we are actually, you know, uh, first of all, I wanna say they're all great companies. You know, they're all great companies that have great products. You know, when, you know, I, I was actually remembering, you know, the, in the early days when I was uh, deploying my own smart contract, uh, you know, I, I was relying on uh, uh, Infura services, right? I have to admit. Um, and, you know, then we realized, you know, I think, um, in, uh, in, in pure service for sure, you know, they, they've been, you know, long supporter of Ethereum blockchain, right? They, they support their full node uh, endpoint. And also they, uh, if you pay, I, I believe it's $250 per month, uh, uh, you know, you can get a archive node, which, uh, you know, which uh, usually for a developer takes for forever to sync up. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I see on their website, you know, they're supporting uh, IPFS APIs, which is pretty exciting. You know, as, as many of you guys know, like, you know, the, the Falcon is, is launching and uh, IPFS will be, you know, uh, slowly transitioning to the, to the second phase. Per, uh, personally, very uh, bullish on that as well. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I think, you know, for the, you know, the real difference between uh, Anchor is that uh, between Anchor and Infura or Al Al Alchemy is like, you know, we not only support Ethereum blockchains, but also, you know, like I said, 48 plus uh, uh, blockchain protocols. Uh, you know, we don't believe that uh, Ethereum will be the only uh, DApp development blockchain in the future, right? I'm personally also very uh, bullish on the entire Polkadot ecosystem, right? We, uh, we've we been, you know, talking with a lot of Polkadot developers in the space, especially from our experience working in the uh, Polkadot uh, bootcamp uh, in Shanghai. And yeah, so... Um, and I think, you know, I also want to mention, you know, uh, two companies, uh, Bison Trails and also uh, Block Demon, you know, all very great companies. Um, and, you know, I, uh, I think, you know, the difference between us and them is that, you know, um, we're, we're really not re like relying on uh, centralized cloud servers. Like, yes, we can, but, you know, we really are, uh, you know, from the, from the get go, you know, like, you know, last year, we really tried to uh, leverage our tech stack uh, to not only increase the performance, uh, but also save, uh, save cost for developers and stakers. Uh, it's interesting that you brought up that uh, you guys don't use uh, centralized servers and your services are about uh, cheaper, are cheaper than the rest of the providers out there. I remember reading on your site that it's mentioned that Anchor is 80% cheaper than public cloud. Um, so my question is, how is that possible? And my thought when I look at Anchor was that nodes are running on public clouds like AWS. So I'm wondering, like, how do you make it significantly cheaper? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, um, you know, I think, you know, uh, from just, you know, working in this space for a very long time, I, I, you know, I see, you know, I don't see any problems deploying a blockchain node in, in you know, centralized cloud services. I think it's totally fine. 
Uh, and I, I, I think, you know, the, the term uh, decentralized might be confused sometimes with uh, distributed, right? So I think, you know, at Anchor, our mission is to not only serve the crypto communities, but at the same time, we're trying to serve enterprises that, that has, have not been, you know, previously into the crypto, but also suddenly want to adopt, you know, the Web3 stack. Like, they are, um, they are very sensitive about their securities, right? So I think, you know, we do provide two types of services, which is one, there is a decentralized protocol uh, for the node marketplace. But at the same time, there's also this anchor managed service for enterprises and all that. And then this anchor managed, uh, you know, the enterprise services is run on, you know, a globally distributed network of data centers that we build uh, from the beginning, right? Some of them, you know, uh, you know, we have our own servers. Uh, some of them, you know, are run by, you know, um, our partners like, you know, Latte. We have uh, also some partners like Digital Ocean. You know, the program, uh, Telefonica. You know, we we all have this the, the you know the lines of partnerships that are willing to work with us. Um, so yeah. So uh, and then we have our own uh, clust uh, cluster management, which you know. Uh, saves a lot of cost uh, for our clients uh, for deployment and DevOps. Essentially, you have partnerships with large data warehouses around the world, like with like not just AWS, but DigitalOcean and Telefonica yeah. and the rest. And that allows you to get uh, cheaper access uh, to, to server, I believe. And, and, but you mentioned as well that like, there is um, a distributed node service. So how does that really yeah. work? Does that mean that if I have a data warehouse, I can sort of offer my, my extra yeah, capacity exactly. to run blockchain nodes? Yeah, it's, yeah, I think, you know, this is uh, something, you know, I definitely want to mention, you know, uh, uh, big time uh, in this podcast. Uh, is that, you know, we're launching a pretty exciting product called Staker, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it actually spells uh, S-T-K-R. Uh, you know, when we first launched, uh, you know, we, we thought the brand is really important. You know, we want to be uh, consistent with the, um, um, the overall anchor brand, All right? So, so Staker is actually, um, you know, it's a fully decentralized protocol, right? By, by fully decentralized, it's like, you know, uh, we're really trying to balance the equations uh, for people who have Ethereum, but do not have the capacity to deploy a node or do not have the knowledge to deploy an Ethereum node. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to match those with, you know, people who have been, you know, technical driven, uh, who do have the server capacities, but just don't have Ethereum, right? So, uh, and uh, like I said, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're working on this product uh, this product is actually, you know, we, we definitely plan to release this, you know, way before uh, the Ethereum 2 uh, mainnet launch, uh, which I predict is going to be towards the end of this year, if not maybe uh, early next year. Um, so this, uh, this protocol is, uh, is actually, you know, con uh, containing three parts, right? We, we mainly have three, three players in this ecosystem. We have the stakers who have the, the Ethereum coins. We have um, the, uh, the providers. And also a very important part of this ecosystem is of, of course, uh, the governance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the governance is, you know, responsible to tuning uh, the parameters, you know, the fee structures, uh, also, you know, uh, entries uh, to the ecosystem. Uh, I think, you know, we, we want to open this up to the community and, you know, we want this to be uh, fully controlled, uh, not, you know, not by us, by the company, but also, you know, uh, everyone who are willing to join the governance structure, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, we've seen a, a lot of successful uh, governance model in, in DeFi mm -hmm. space. You know, we, we definitely want to, uh, you know, have this, you know, and then realize the true spirit uh, of crypto economy. So, so this, uh, this take a product and the governance structure is not live yet, I believe, but it's planning to go live sometime in Q4 before yes. If to yes. launch, right? So, mm -hmm. so let's kind of walk me through an example, right? So I have 32 ETH, let's say, for to run like a validator node on ETH 2.0. So what happens? I go to Anchor, I, I, I spin up a node and then I pay some Anchor tokens to spin up a node. And then with that node, I can stake my Ether in that. In that. Yep, yep. So um, in order, so let me start from the, the provider first. Okay. So in order to be to be uh, eligible uh, as a provider, you need to stake uh, Anchor tokens. I think this is actually, you know, 
um, you know, the, the second wave of value capture for, for our uh, tokens, right? Before uh, we only used Anchor as our um, payment system, right? But right now we, we were truly uh, capturing the value of Anchor tokens. So first is uh, Anchor token will be used as a, uh, as a insurance token, you know, to, uh, to, to ensure that uh, the providers is not messing up uh, with their nodes. Uh, you know, they're, 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 you know, and then stakers will be properly compensated for uh, the, you know, the slashing events, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, it, it will, you know, the second utility is, of course, uh, the governance token, right? So uh, the governance utility, you know, if you hold enough anchor token, you know, you, you, you can join the governance and then tune uh, parameters, you know, you know, allow new providers to join the ecosystem you know, kick, um, kick out any uh, bad actors in the space, right? I think you know, we're, we're trying to uh, introduce the, the entire uh, governance structure pretty soon, but, but you know, it's, it's definitely more than that, you know, what I just said. Mm -hmm. um, and the third utility is actually, you know, we're actually looking into uh, staking liquidity uh, for their staking rewards. Uh, as many of you guys know, um, so, uh, you know, the uh, Ethereum 2.0 will not be compatible with Ethereum 1 uh, for a very long time uh, because, you know, they're, they're, they're migrating the, the chain to a shard eventually. Mm -hmm. So um, the transaction function uh, on Ethereum 2 will probably not be live uh, until, I would say, late 2021. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, during this year, if you're earning staking, uh, staking rewards, you actually cannot sell it. Right. So uh, Anchor token will be used uh, for you know, staking liquidity to provide staking liquidities for people who earn staking rewards. And I think, you know, it's a good price discovery uh, for the Ethereum 2.0 staking. Hmm. So, so and, and if I want to run this, I have to stake my Anchor tokens to initialize a node, right? And yes. I, that means if I stake, I technically don't pay for the node or? or... Yeah, I think, you know, uh, right now, there are some details to be finalized. But okay. Right now, we're thinking we're thinking of two structures. One is uh, if you if you pay directly uh, with your anchor tokens to the providers, then that will be considered like your node fee structure, mm -hmm. right? Or if you stake uh, enough uh, anchor tokens, and then the you know the staking is 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 generating uh, enough uh, rewards, your staking rewards will be paid okay. to the provider. Okay, yeah. sort of clear, clearer to me now. And mm -hmm. I, I was reading on a staker, your, the medium post that you put up recently, um, that, that I see there is an element of micro staking because not everybody has 32 ETH to stake and maybe somebody has like 0.5 ETH or one ETH, like how can we sort of like creating a mining pool of sorts in, in this uh, staking environment. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Like, do you, I, I can foresee that many other players we also offer this micro staking uh, element do you think it's going to be competitive as we gear up towards the launch of eve 2.0 i mean i mean of course i mean everybody is like you know right now i would say all eyes on ethereum 2.0 <laughs> mm -hmm. um but uh you know honestly in, in my honest opinion i think it's going to be a fair uh, competition you know i think it's going to be um, you know uh, not only on the product side but also uh, marketing developer relationship you know there, there can be a lot of uh, factors uh, into this competition. So uh, I'm definitely aware of uh, Rocky Pool. It's a pretty cool idea. Uh, and, you know, I think uh, especially on the micro pool side, you know, we're a little bit similar to what Rocky Pool is doing. Um, but, you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, we're even trying to provide a mobile app for people to participate in Ethereum staking. Like, I think, you know, for the longest time, you know, our, 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 our philosophy to the staker community is that, you know, we want to be uh, as user friendly as possible, right? We want to, uh, you know, I think uh, we've sort of like creating this brand name of like one click node hosting for staking. Um, yeah, so um, we want to help, uh, you know, when, you know, when sort of, um, you know, thinking about the product strategy, right? We're looking at different uh, target audiences, right? Mm -hmm. So for Ethereum 2.0 is, is definitely going to be, you know, one of the, well, I think it's definitely the largest staking events ever happening to the crypto space. Um, so you have some large VCs funds. Um, I, I don't think, I doubt they will go with, a, uh, you know, this uh, the decentralized structure. I think they they care more about their key management. 
which you know uh, the uh, the anchor the current uh, anchor enterprise product will uh, you know uh, provide their services for. And uh, you know, looking at the uh, community, you know, there are so many people who want to stake, and then you know, uh, who do not have thirty two Ethereum, they they will be able to form uh, a group of uh, pooled investors into you know into one node, and then you know everything will be uh, you know uh, executed through uh, smart contracts uh, instead of um, putting the trust into Anchor. And, and do you facilitate the group of people to come together and form 32 ETH or is it kind of like you just send your ETH to Anchor and then you guys will just collect the first 32 and form a node and then the next 32, a second node and so on? Yeah, I think, you know, right, uh, right now we actually, you know, in our internal discussion, we actually plan to support both, uh, both ways. Okay. Right. We have an automated matching making, mm -hmm. right? For people who don't, you know, who have like one Ethereum to two Ethereum, we just match them together. If they, they don't want to, you know, be pulled together with people they don't know, you know, if they just simply want to pull with some friends, yep. sure, uh, we do provide the capacities. Yeah, because I can imagine like, I mean, not, not in the immediate term, but once like transfers on ETH2 is uh, allowed and then some people like, mm -hmm. I've staked like five ETH and then like, I don't know, one month later, I want to pull out and then like, what's going to happen to the node, like the remaining like 27, uh, 27 ETH is still- Yeah, legitimate. I think, you know, in, in, in order to, to join, you know, uh, the pool to form one Ethereum node, I think, you know, the, the pool participants need to come to a, con con, you know, a consensus, right? They mm -hmm. need to uh, get in at the same time and of course, uh, trying to get out at the same time. But of course, like, you know, like I said, in, the, in, the, in, a, in, our, in our, our, our last uh, conversation, right? We're really trying to provide staking liquidity, of course, uh, we're trying to help uh, users who want to get out uh, early, uh, you know, the ability to sell the rights mm -hmm. to the staking rewards, right? Mm -hmm. We're really trying to tokenize uh, the rights to staking. All right. Um, 2020 has been a crazy year. Um, so I guess what's the plan for Anchor as you gear up towards the last quarter of 2020? I mean, it, I mean, 2020 has been a roller, co you know, a, a <laughs> roller coaster ride. Uh, it's just simply crazy. Uh, you know, uh, the world is changing at a pace, uh, you know, I personally have never imagined. Um, and uh, uh, I think, you know, we're constantly growing. Um, you know, I, I know, you know, a lot of companies are laying off uh, during this COVID-19 situation, right? But uh, we, we actually grew our team members uh, from, from 25 people. We actually doubled our headcount over the past uh, eight months, right? Congrats. We grew from a team of 25 uh, to now, you know, somewhere around uh, 53 people, nice. right? Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we really have a, you know, a kick-ass team. Um, I love our team. And uh, uh, I think, you know, um, we are, we're a, definitely a, you know, I would say a, a, a family. Um, and uh, moving forwards, you know, I think um, in terms of the blockchain nodes side, you know, uh, for the, we definitely want to support more uh, meaningful blockchains, you know, our goal is to support them all, right? Um, and uh, in terms of uh, enterprise sell, you know, we're actually uh, ramping up our efforts uh, to sell more nodes, uh, offerings, or even like you know, in general, like the Web three in infrastructure in general to uh, to you know, to, the, to the to the likes of exchanges, wallet providers, uh, custodian providers, and more, right? We, uh, we, you know, we recently launched, you know, our partnerships uh, and, you know, client relationship with uh, some large, some, you know, some of the largest uh, exchanges and wallet providers in the world. Uh, we're definitely very excited. Uh, and, you know, um, also, you know, very importantly, very excited, very excited for uh, Ethereum 2.0, uh, the upcoming Filecoin uh, mainnet launch. You know, I think, you know, there are a ton of things happening to this space. And, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I wish, you know, we have more time, you know. Yeah. Uh, we, I, you know, I wish we have like 25 hours a day so mm -hmm. I can uh, do more things. Yeah, likewise, I'm, I'm very excited uh, for EVE 2.0. I think all of us in crypto are very excited for EVE 2.0 and Filecoin, definitely. I mean, we've been talking about Filecoin for like, I don't know, God knows how many years now. I really <laughs> hope that it comes out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess my last question to you is uh, if someone's interested to learn more about Anchor, where's the best place to follow and learn more? Yeah, so, um, so, you know, like I said, you know, this is a great start. You know, I haven't been out there uh, for a very long time. Of course, uh, it's definitely uh, to, uh, you know, be on this uh, show. 
right? Uh, thanks so much, Bobby. Uh, you know, I, I definitely want to uh, be present uh, more often, you know, uh, going forward. You know, I think for the past year and a half, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, heads down, uh, building products, building the team. Uh, yeah, it's, it's time for us to, to get out, you know, spread the world's, uh, spread the world's uh, banker. And uh, in terms of uh, social media wise, you know, we do have, you know, we do have a very active uh, Telegram channel. We have a Twitter channel. We have a Medium channel. Uh, our CMO, uh, Marco, is uh, updating very uh, frequently. Uh, trying to expand to more channels, to be honest, uh, you know, especially going forward, you know, I'm pretty in interested in exploring, you know, the Ethereum developer communities on uh, Gitcoin. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's a great community and uh, it's something, you know, we want to offer our product and services. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, thanks, thanks a lot for taking the time to explain to us everything about Anchor. I think I definitely learned a lot and I'm pretty sure everyone listening on the show will learn a lot uh, about Anchor as well. So, so thanks a lot. Yeah, very excited about uh, where this space is going. You know, I think my final words would be, I think, you know, been, being in this space for uh, three, three years, three and a half years, um, you know, just bu uh, b um, building the product services uh, for the blockchain industry. You know, I feel like um, I feel like, you know, I'm being rewarded, not because uh, Bitcoin is rising, but because uh, more people are realizing the true potential of blockchain and crypto. More people are, are uh, building, you know, meaningful products on top of blockchain. You know, you know this is especially, you know, when building Anchor, you know, we, uh, all of us, you know, team members feel so excited about and, uh, you know, definitely uh, looking forward to the future. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the future as well. All right. Thank All right. you very much. Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you.